Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel, Silas Christians, and I trust God you all are in great. Today I'm here in my sewing room and I have bring an other sewing project. Before heading down to the project, if you're new to Silas Creations, just go ahead and subscribe. You're going to learn here sewing, cooking, and DIY projects. If you already are a regular subscriber, I'm sure you're already enjoying all the wonderful projects over here. So our today project is we are going to work on this beautiful dress it's a bride's mother dress i already have did all the ultrasations just a one project is left which i wanted to share with you all so that's the front of the dress it's the wrap dress and this one is our back and as you can see we have a two spaghetti straps one on go around sleeves and other one go around the neck area so the neck area straps is perfectly fine around the neck means it's tight it's gave perfect fitting but strap around the armhole area it's a shaggy it's fell when my client wear the dress so we're simply going to fix it there's a two different ways you can take in from these straps. First, you can open the seams. You can open from the top. You can open from the sides and then take in and then stitch back exactly the same way you have taken out. And there's another quick way which I'm going to share with you all today since we have a short time in our hands. Wedding is next week. We need to do this project without using any sewing machine. For that project, you need a hand needle, matching thread, a cutter, or the quilting crib if they are needed. So let's go ahead and start it. Now this easy technique to get done with these spaghetti straps. So here I have my needle and what we are going to do, that's our measurement, one full inch. Simply I'm tucking all inside because I'm going to take a little stitch here, okay? And now I'm going to take all the strap inside and we simply just going to do a blind hem stitch back forth back forth your attitudes and actions family is the best place to teach young men and women about god's kind of love today let's focus on your daughter's second titus verse 3 to 5 says, We are to teach our daughters, our granddaughters, and our younger sisters in Christ the good things in the Christian life, including how to love a husband. What are you modeling in your marriage? Don't be afraid to be affectionate in front of your kids. Let them see and hear that you love your husband. Compliment your spouse and let your kids know you trust and respect him. All right, you barely can notice we have added any stitches there. I'm gonna secure a couple more times and then I will flip from back as we already stitched the top now what we are going to do just flipping our fabric a little bit of from back and I'm removing the strap and you see this extra fabric simply we are just going to stitch a blind hem stitch
and I'm not taking a front fabric I'm just taking a lining all right just make sure don't disparage or nag him deal with disagreements privately show your children that making sacrifices for one and other person isn't drudgery share scriptures that encourage you and help you to live out god's calling as a woman a wife a mother let's pray dear lord Marriage is a modeling for your love, for your church. May my marriage be representative of that same sacrificial love you have for us. May my family reflect your values and priorities. And may others see in us the beauty of Christian love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much for watching our today sewing project as you can see we have taken in from both straps and they looking so neat professionally and you barely can uh, tell that we have did this project with a hand needle if you really get inspired by our today sewing project please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit like subscribe and share with your family and friends so many people can learn about sewing cooking and daily projects i love you all god bless you all be safe wherever you are and have an abundant life Bye bye